So you've got a patient with hypertension and you don't think they have essential hypertension or hypertension of unknown cause. You think they're one of the five to 10% of patients who have a secondary cause of hypertension. Perhaps it's a young patient and you're thinking a little bit deeper about them. What are the four things that you need to think about in terms of causes? D, drugs, R, renal, E, endocrine, and V, vascular, DREV, D-R-E-V. Now, if you start with drugs, combined oral contraceptive pill, steroids, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories or NSAIDs, venlafaxine, MAOIs or monoamine oxidase inhibitors, tricyclic antidepressants, and don't forget alcohol and cocaine. There's other drugs as well, but these are some of the common ones. Then you have R, renal, some of the renal causes, polycystic kidney disease, infection, pyelonephritis, glomerulonephritis, diabetic renal disease, Things like PAN or polyarthritis nodosa or SLE, so connective tissue disorders affecting the kidney, and don't forget renal cell carcinoma. E, thirdly, is endocrine, Con syndrome, Cushing syndrome, acromegaly, phacromocytoma. And then V are your vascular causes, things like aortic coarctation, things like renal artery stenosis, that could go here, of course. And finally, don't forget pregnancy as a fifth category. So, D-R-E-V, drugs, renal, endocrine, vascular, and don't forget pregnancy as well. Hope this helps.